Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable location. Phone and answer machine. You are speaking to a mere projection of Gale. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality reconstituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. Okay. Man. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Right, oh, it's a, a cutscene. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. And with company to match. Ah. <laughs> all I right. This place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is this truly what you want to die for the promise? Babel crone. Coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress' forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it. On my own terms. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime. And prize the fear. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're... You're very special to me. If things were different... If we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. Okay, now it works out. You are out of practice. <laughs> A fair assessment. I wish we had more time to practice together. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do. Intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave. Okay. How about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. The scene is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. 
the sculptures, the paintings, the walls enlivened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself, and as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun take its daily dive into the sea. favorite spot. Many times, evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here, lost in words. <laughs> that you're perfect. It seems lonely. <laughs> On the contrary. No one is lonely when they have books. Except perhaps the illiterate. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. This one here is called The Art of the Night. It details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body, the exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. I say we take a page from their book. Seems like she she's agreeing. Leave it to you to seduce someone with a book. Then let's set the book aside and be blank slates on blank sheets. Delightfully new. What do you say? The stars will be our bed. Come here. Why confine ourselves to the pleasures of mortal flesh? There's but one stitch in a vast tapestry. Let me show you more. Ah, pretty cosmic. When you wake, it will be back at our camp. Back in our small, dirty, bloody patch of existence. But stay with me now. There are endless worlds out there. Countless ways to declare love. Infinite ways to express it. Too much for one night. But we shall try. Sounds like a plan.
stay no more. A surprisingly long, long scene actually. If you compare it to something like Witcher 3, that, those scenes were sh reasonably short. I wanted to talk to you about our night together. Have you ever walked to the very edge of a great precipice and shuddered at how easy it would be to step into the void? Ever since Elminster told me of Mistress' expectations of me, it felt like I've been walking along such a cliff face. The great drop to nothingness never out of my sight. But you, you led me away from the edge. Without your words, your touch, I fear I would have sought purpose and solace in that void. You reminded me what living can feel like. You further me as I recall you did all, all the hard well, work. generosity is always <laughs> a noble virtue. No. Whether it be in the streets, by the charity box, or betwixt the sheets. Besides, given my propensity towards verbosity, surely can't be a surprise that I have a practiced tongue. I hope the end is much farther away than I had suspected. I hope that night meant as much to you as it did to me. And I hope we all have more time together. Together. Alone. <laughs> it was fine. Uh, uh, that would be cruel. I'll see that there is. Woe betide anyone who tries to stop me. Alas, no. The charm Elminster granted me requires my death as the spark that will light the orb's fuse. Making myself invulnerable, immortal, or in any other fashion unkillable would render it useless. And gods only know what it might do to the orb itself. Still, I see no harm in learning what we can about this night song. And if we manage to find it, the harm will be all Ketherick's. So. Well worth indulging our curiosity. See what happens. Here we go. Me, Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are. I shall carry out General Form's will alone. Not wanted. Not needed. Leave. This place is not for you. Go no farther. The work must not be interrupted. Away! All is at hand. Your presence is not required, not wanted, not needed. Leave. Something good here, I hope. Well, 
What's this? Something present there. Rats. Looks like there's a temple under this place. There's something deadly sealed inside it. Nice. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. This is the last Can't give up now. option here. Charmed, I'm sure. Watch your back. Okay, la last option. <laughs> uh, okay, these are still armed, Careful. so. traps about hmm. Only dead. no I don't think I hit it still breathing despite everything. No time to rest. Another step forward. No one stopped me yet. Tenators haven't visited the here for ages. Where will it bring us then? Interesting. School some balls. Traverse all game. I wonder where we are going to end up. Some kind of gauntlet. I suppose. Somehow connected to Shar. The answer lies in darkness. Maybe, maybe the cursed darkness is actually a uh, Shar's cur curse. Shar's warriors must not be caught. Must not be tricked. Only loss awaits the unworthy. That Shah herself who speaks. Welcome, child. Okay. Follow my voice and prove your worth. Their own. Okay, 
There's a lever and something else. Reconstitute that. So basically, a zombie or something. of this creature's brain, a tadpole lives. Another presence nurtures it, manipulates it like a puppet. You plunder! You meddle! You upset my plans! Leave! Bones! They are more than bones. More than flesh. More than skin, blood, hair and piss. They are more. They are mine. Now leave before. Stupid worm infested cockhead! You have awoken the shadows! My forces are split. The defenses are thin. Rally on me. A wall of bone and blade against the darkness. Now! Why did Lady Star's dead attack? Am I being tested? Step quick. Next, I wonder. I'd better do the talking. Unworthy of dark cloak. Unworthy of dark fur. Unworthy. As rats go, this one seems to be somewhat of an eccentric. <laughs> great deal to it we've always been here it's ours we watch over it you do not belong extraordinary behavior there's more to these rats than meets their beady little eyes leave away my nest my dark Yeah, something funny about this. Onward in her name. Worth a try. With these rats. Brave the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Test body, mind, and spirit with her trials. Glory awaits the few who succeed. This is the path of heroes. Your feet sully it. Okay, so that wasn't gauntlet we saw before. This is this is the gauntlet starts from here. And this is where we okay. Now I now I know where we are. Can carry me. 
You prowl my battleground. Why? Are you friend? Foe? Thieving scavenger? You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend. An uninvited friend. I do not request help. Did she now? Enter. I will see if I have any use for you. I suppose he has some suicide mission for us. Stinking pile of ogre afterbirth! The quakes herald the shadows. They found me. There's more more of them coming. Uh, some kind of traps would be nice. This point armor is good. Can't even catch my breath. Yeah, you can. You can ask, also cast the armor. So. So you can attack these. I'm Trevor. Striking distance. I won't give in. Can't slow down. Now we need to manually remove all, 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 all of those. getting swarmed. That's not a good thing. But we have fresh out of fireballs. That's that's kind of issue here. Okay. <laughs> now the fireball would be nice. Or maybe...
I don't think sleep is in is going to effect on living armor. Thunder wave to here would, would be rather nice. interrupted okay critical miss oh no Supposed th this can't be poisoned. Why uh, upcast cast this here? That's that's more like it. Also, no good. Come, come to backstab this guy.
Shall we do the thunder wave attack? Let's step do the thunder step. wave attack. Slapstick starts. Yeah, meter image is down. Going well. Okay, that it shot the illusion. That's great. I was concerned for a moment. Okay, what is that? Okay. At least short break now. Pushing on. So we kind of fought the maximum amount of enemies. No traps, please. At the ready. It's been a long day. I need to rest soon. Yeah, everyone is out of out of spells, for example. Slightly, slightly more easier if I had like used the spells at the start, but I was like, mm, I want to save this spell. Oh, well, no, it was big fight. Okay, need to make a long rest. Boss guy can tear. <laughs> Balthazar can wait. merchant I can't get it out of my head I did what I always did I let her use me why does it feel different to all the other times she then? had some kind of plan yes I think something is wrong there's nothing more desirable in the world than a vampire is there <laughs> How many been through all I have? You damn well are going to fight with what few assets the gods give you. But a part of me feels sick when I think about getting on my back for breadcrumbs again. All the promiscuous jibes paint a picture of someone who had relished the deed. <laughs> you couldn't really have known. I had nothing at all for so long. 
Not even my body. That was owned by Cazador. To be sent out to tempt fools into his palace. I have bedded thousands of people. Half of them I barely remember. Most of them didn't even grant me temporary bliss. I thought it would be nothing at all to sell myself to that drow's fantasies. But the price was higher than I imagined. I don't want to do it again. It isn't worth the scars anymore. Ah, calls. And what are you? He's handsome fellow. <laughs> ah, the interloper. And in one piece as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. He's into some heavy, heavy stuff. Ah, you're a leech. Interesting. But there's always room for improvement when it comes to the flesh. My creations are more than a sum of their parts. They are mere sketches compared to my masterwork. That would leave you in awe, should you be fortunate enough to bear witness. General Thorn. Rubbish. Everything is at hand here. Zarel merely envies the General's faith in me. I am in the midst of a grand strategy. But you're here now. And I may be able to put those limbs to work. You know what's at stake here, I take it. Nope. History. It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead, from what you recall. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes? Yeah? Interesting and private. Give me one reason why I shouldn't have my creations kill you right now, thief. grander things at stake. The night song is my finest creation. If I never exceed myself, I will still die happy. Not that I ever intend to do something as gauche as truly dying, of course. Now, well, he's slightly evil. Your prying nature, I have work for you as a scout. The Night Song lends the General his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. And spoil the surprise? I think not. But let's just say that the Night Song was a unique specimen even before I began my work. Words, even my words, are woefully insufficient. When you see for yourself, you will understand. 
I do not need you or your help. But you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The night song is close, but the way is barred, and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded. Or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But perhaps better to play along for now. Skeleton with that would be nice. Fine. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. Mm. Ah, he's a, he's a My flesh. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. Flesh will remain here until called. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. contains an ancient rust-colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc, as if spilled calmly and willingly. You recognize this as a trial where initiates would prove themselves to Lady Shah. This one would put their skills of stealth and infiltration to the test. Okay, so the trial key works. Oh, and we get the orb. Unnoticed. Good. Countless initiates walked these halls once, seeking to become dark justices. I will follow in their path. I will succeed. I must keep going. Her most hallowed mercy. A long way to go still. Okay, let's do it. Sale of same ritual. Trial. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another of Lady Shah's trials that her initiates must face. This one would challenge their combat prowess. I, I suppose that's something that she needs to do. <clears throat> really teaches us that we are our own worst enemy much of the time. Okay, so we get more game gems from this transporter brings me back. Okay, nice. Luckily that was lower level version of me, so 
Piddly Patrol. There's no time to waste. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial to judge the metal of Lady Shah's initiates. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. in even the darkest recesses of Lady Shah's embrace. I must remember where to step. Ah, uh, there's, there's this. That she will guide me. That's the map. Correct. I must remember where to step. And have faith that she will guide me. Like Indiana Jones. Okay. Beast stepped. So you you can uh, you actually appear in a place where you step off. navigate when you don't have any any point points of reference basically this should be rather easy Get the line up from the last inspired yes what's next okay these are all the same to do or the trials will have been in vain there is a holy weapon hidden away the spear of night i have to claim it then use it to make a sacrifice in lady shah's inner sanctum if i succeed i'll become a dark justice ah that's what she always wanted don't worry this place has been empty for years. The sacrifice can't be a simple mortal. More likely it's a monster. And we're well versed in dealing with those, aren't we? We need to get that spear. There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. Okay, the cat has had some fun Give here. Chambers of Penance. Sounds fun. I wonder where the library is. Unless it's it's down there. 
enemy seed. It's a magical barrier. Might be a library. through here with all the blood that was spilled. What happened? Worth grabbing. What's this? Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. I don't talk to prey. I... There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael! I can smell him all over you! Where is he? That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me! Where is he? Spit it out. Now! Well, tell him we owe the devil nothing. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young. Then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Contract. Interesting. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder Shah's halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. Kind of. The final lyrics linger in your mind. There is a trick buried within them, a clause that cannot easily be fulfilled. And no, no more dark justicias. That's it. So he's the one who killed all the Dark Justicias. Alone. Might not want to get on his bad side. <laughs> or you? The Dark Justicias all failed and made the most interesting noises as they died. Some even called out to other gods for help. What? The 
are no longer worth avenging. You're a fickle creature. Little Sharon. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. <laughs> the lyrics are a trick. Oh, she she's not that uh, she's not that uh, charismatic. Much are no, ro ro penny. That that works as well. I spent a century roaming these halls. I spilled every drop of dark justicia blood that there was to spill. And you think you can do better? Go on then. I'll enjoy watching you fail. But try to run. And you will regret it. I may be trapped here, but I'm not without friends. If you break your word, they'll hunt you down and make your final moments a symphony of agony. So this is his lair, the pages of these books, it must do. So he tried to find it from the books, and the answer isn't in the books. Right. That 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 must be, it must that much is certain. I should take that. This spear. This has to be the spear of night. The weapon Lady Shah bid me to wield. Okay, so it's it's pretty nice. And it's one one hand spare. That's nice. Okay, and this is Okay, she doesn't have a AC bonus. That great. But it's it's still better. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, much better helmet. Well, it's ugly. <laughs> 